Hey everyone, back with another build video. This time, we're taking Dragon's Breath and Pyrogale Gauntlets and turning our Solar Titan into a boss melting champion crushing beast. Let's take a look. First up, Pyrogale Gauntlets. These gauntlets take our Burning Maul Super and condense it into a single high damage slam that leaves behind flaming cyclones. This super is absolutely devastating and one of the highest burst damage supers in the game. It gets even better because Pyrogale Gauntlets beef up Consecration as well by creating a single flaming cyclone after its second slam. So the trick is to use Consecration for general gameplay and saving your Burning Maul for boss damage. Now we could use the exotic Monte Carlo to spam Consecration as much as possible, but for this build, we're going a different route to generate melee energy. And we're using Dragon's Breath for our exotic weapon. Dragon's Breath shoots rockets that embed themselves into targets and periodically shoot out scorching fuel that triggers multiple ignitions. The longer you wait to fire the weapon, the more fuel is loaded into the shot, up to five stacks. Its weapon perk, High Octane, makes it so igniting nearby targets partially replenishes fuel and the weapon auto reloads itself at max stacks. So the best way to use it for maximum ignitions is to fire around, then switch to another weapon until it reloads itself, much like Wither Horde. Also with the Catalyst, it replenishes its fuel faster and defeating targets creates fire sprites. This thing is insane, but you gotta be careful because the ignitions they cause will take you out if you get too close. Subclass. For our super, obviously we'll be running Burning Maul for the Pyro Gale synergy. For our class ability, we have Rally Barricade for the shorter cooldown. For our melee, we're using Throwing Hammer, mostly for the Radiance buff for our weapon damage. For the grenade, we're using Solar Grenades and combining them with the artifact mod Revitalizing Blast to weaken champions and bosses, then doing increased hit damage. For our first aspect, we're sticking with Soul Invictus for the Sunspots. Sunspots generate abilities faster, apply Scorch damage to enemies, and give us Restoration when we pass through them. For our second aspect, we're using Consecration, of course, to get the full benefits of Power Gales, and building around making sure we have it at the ready as much as possible. For our first fragment, we have Ember of Ashes, so we can apply more Scorch stacks to targets. The second fragment is Ember of Torches, to become radiant with our melee attacks. The third fragment, Ember of Searing. This is perhaps the most important fragment in this build. It will give us melee energy when defeating Scorched targets and create fire sprites, which gives us grenade energy. For our fourth and last fragment, we have Ember of Char, so we can spread Scorch damage with our ignitions. This build relies heavily on scorching everything, so this fragment fits right in. Okay, armor mods. For this build, we'll need as much heavy ammo as possible, so make sure to equip Heavy Ammo Finder, Harmonic Reserves, and a Solar Scavenger mod or Harmonic Scavenger mod. For health and resistance, although Sunspots give restoration, I like using a recuperation mod for a chunk of HP when picking up an Orb of Power, especially in endgame content. Use whatever resist mods you need for the activity. For ability energy and orbs, to generate orbs of power, we got Harmonic Siphon and Heavy Handed. For super energy, we have Hands On. For grenade, we'll use Impact Induction and a Bomber mod. For melee, we can slot in an Outreach mod. So this season we got some pretty good artifact mods. These artifact mods synergize perfectly with this build to ensure we are constantly radiant and scorching targets and conversely generating melee energy. We have Kindling Trigger to apply Scorch with our solar weapons, Flint Striker to become radiant from rapid precision hits or solar weapon final blows. We also have Rays of Precision, so precision final blows cause ignitions and thanks to Ember of Char, those ignitions spread Scorch. We also have some damage buff mods. These mods increase our damage output under certain conditions. Heart of the Flame increases our super damage for each nearby ally. Revitalizing Blast weakens bosses and champions with our solar abilities. Solar Operative, the opposite of Heart of the Flame, when we are the last fire team member, we do increased damage overall. Finally, we have Overload Rocket Launchers. Not only will Dragon's Breath stun Overload champions with this mod, it'll also do increased damage to them. It's crazy how quickly this thing deletes champions. For the last bit of this build, we have Incandescent. Although running a primary solar weapon with Incandescent isn't completely necessary for this build, considering the combination of mods and fragments, which gives us the same effect, not to mention our abilities and Dragon's Breath already scorches everything, I like using Incandescent just to make sure I scorch the hell out of everything and not have to worry about it. This build overall makes Solar Titan feel like a powerhouse and something that you gotta try out this season. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe. Till next time. Thank you.